Every year, the Retromobile in Paris is the prelude to the International Classic Car Fair. Although it is not the largest street fair in the world, it stands out because of the very special flair of the exhibitors. Here, the creme de la creme of the international traders is presented together with the French Savoir Vivre. Of course, the French brands attended the special exhibitions. But the visitors, interested in sales, were able to enjoy a very exclusive selection of vehicles. After only a few hours, the first sale signs were found on many of the vehicles. Just in time for the 70th anniversary of Ferrari, some real Ferrari rarities were to be found at the fair. Early Ferrari racing jeans are owned by the 1931 Alfa Romeo 8C Sagato Spider from the Scuderia Ferrari, which was driven by Nuvolari at some races. On the stand of JD Classics, the Ferrari 250mm Miglia Vignale Spider shown next to the Fiskens Formula 1 Ferrari 312T3, which was once piloted by Reutemann and Villeneuve. Lovers of rear Formula 1 vehicles came to the booth of Tradex and Methuselah this year. Among the displayed cars was the Ferrari 312B2, which the factory drivers Andretti, X and Regazzoni contested it in the 1971 season, next to two copies of the Ferrari 312B3. A highlight was also the 1964 Ferrari 1512, the first Formula 1 Ferrari equipped with a V8 engine. Richard Miel also showed some real rarities from the Formula 1 racing history, including the 3 axle Tyrell P34, which won the Grand Prix in Sweden in 1976. Directly opposite was the March from 1977. Four-wheel drive was presented by the 969 Crossworth Formula 1 four-wheel drive. The McLaren M9A also proved very successful with its four-wheel drive technology. The 1969 Lotus 63 was once driven by Colin Chapman. Racing jeans also appeared at Ascot Collection, including the BMW 3.0 CSL Group 2, a McLaren Can-Am racing car from the 1960s and a replica of the Kramer Porsche 917. At William I. Anson LTD, there was a Lotus 11 next to the Chevron B16. Once six Delage 15S8 Grand Prix vehicles were built for racing. At this year's Retromobile alone, five vehicles were on display. The Retromobile is also the hub for lovers of historical supercars and sports cars. At the booth of Kinder Automobile Technik, the visitors of the Retromobile could admire the Mercedes-Benz CLK GDR. A Bugatti EB110 was exhibited at Movendi. Both are upcoming classics, which are already a real investment. The Italian sports cars from the 1960s and 1970s are led by the Italian brands. Ferrari, Maserati and Lamborghini form the spearhead of the office. The Countach is particularly popular. The yellow Countach, shown at the Fiskens stand, was always surrounded by visitors. Also Alfa Romeo rarities were to be found. The Alfa Romeo G1 is one of the most important vehicles in the history of Enzo Ferrari. He had contributed significantly to this project. Today only one of these vehicles is left and was to be seen at this year's Retromobile. Next to it was a unique Alfa Romeo Superflow Pininfarina, built in 1960. Of course, the exclusive French brands were not to be missed at the show. And here too, there were some very unique cars to be admired, such as the Talbot Largo Teardrop Copy with Fergoni and Falaschi bodywork, or the Peugeot 402 DS with its equally aerodynamic appearance.
The shape of the Vassin C28 Aerosport from 1935 is very impressive. The Bugatti shown with the Fagoni and Falaschi teardrop bodywork was also very attractive. Also this year the Bugattis were the leading French brand. Lucas Huni put the Bugattis in comparison to Walter Owens Bentleys. Including the blower Bentley, old number 2. The sporty and elegant Bugattis were an absolute contrast. Sporty elegance was also evident at the Packard 645 Deluxe Sport Fiaton from 1927, which was shown at the booth of Axel Schütte. Also some German dealers were present. For the very first time, Arthur Bechtel had a booth at the Retromobile in Paris and was very satisfied. Arca Engineering, Mechatronics and also Bravos were represented. The German dealers mainly showed Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Although several Porsche 911 models could be seen on the Retromobile this year, their number was very limited.